and your first look here at the Olympic short track skating. We've just seen the men's quarterfinals and coming up for you the uh, 3,000 meters ladies relay semi-final. And there are the qualifications from the quarterfinals. We've had heats and uh, quarterfinals and they are the skaters who are through to the semi and along them along uh, with them is matt jasper from great britain but not nikki gooch nikki gooch who's been suffering from flu and was run out of it in his heat didn't make it through to the quarterfinal matt jasper did and uh, to be honest he was pretty lucky in his quarterfinal but he made it through with uh, satoru tarai and lee jun juan one of the hot fancies from uh, korea only made it through as a third entry because there was a, a real mishmash with Mark Gagnon, the world record holder, and uh, Lee went down but has been allowed to make it through and he'll make an extra place in the semi-final. Normally it's just two from the quarterfinals through, but he will make a third. It's extraordinarily exciting here in the white ring. Simon Reed alongside Chris Howarth, and uh, we've been watching figure skating for the last eight days. That's been fantastic, but this has its own special place as you look at the start list for the first semi-final in the women's 3,000 metres. We'll talk about that specifically in a moment, but Chris, this is some sport. It really is. It's uh, amazing to think that we're in the same venue as the figure skating. There's a completely different atmosphere in here. There's uh, cheerleaders uh, through the ice resurfaces, surfaces, getting the crowd going. We've had the Mexican wave going, and uh, it really is exciting. And every time a Japanese skater gets out in front, there's an almighty roar, almost enough to lift the roof off the building. We may have time later on to show you some of that quarterfinal action, and uh, but it was uh, desperately exciting, controversial. Matt Jasper, who uh, David Steg, who broke the world record in the 500 meters in the European Championships in Budapest just a couple of weeks ago, he had a bit of an argy bargy with Matt Jasper. Felt that Jasper had pushed him and has appealed, but uh, Jasper made it through to the quarterfinal. Then he was so lucky with the two falling in front of him and Mark Gagnon crashing in and uh, Jasper is somehow through to the semi-final we'll see him later on live here on Eurosport now to the uh, let's concentrate on the ladies 3,000 meters here we've got Japan, Canada, the Netherlands, and Germany. In the second semi, it'll be Korea, the People's Republic of China, the USA, and uh, the Republic of Korea, North Korea. Canadian silver medalist in Lillehammer, gold medalist in Alberville. And this is uh, real fun and games relays. If you've not seen short track before, you'll enjoy this. Four skaters from uh, each country selected. And uh, the actual uh, tag is a, is a push in the back. And uh, you can substitute skaters as you like all the way through until the final couple of laps whoever starts with two laps to go has to finish They're the japanese who are fourth in alberville one of the exciting things about this is uh, you've got the skaters round the outside on the track and then the skaters that are just about to come in and uh, do the relay they're winding themselves up on the inside of the rink so there's skaters literally everywhere and uh, no cat and mouse here it's absolutely gun it from the gun so we've got canada the reigning world champions they won the world title in this very rink at the end of last year japan third in that world championship the Netherlands, who was seventh, and Germany, 
who were one place behind them. Japan on the inside, then Canada, then the Netherlands, and then Germany. But uh, there's going to be a delay, which uh, gives us a chance to give you a little bit more information about this event. The, uh, the Brits have a real chance in the men's relay. We'll be some, seeing some of that in, uh, on Thursday when we've got the heats and uh, semi-final, the final of the relays on Saturday, but the uh, British team are the reigning European champions. They've won for the last three years, but we do not have British representatives here. Japan, Canada, the Netherlands, and Germany. And it's Canada who start off in the lead. Japan second, Netherlands third, Germany fourth. So going to form at the moment. Isabel Charest.